Hey Libras, Josie K here. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel once again, Josie K Tarot. I am starting out for the month of February 2018 with a pre-laid spread here for uh, uh, career and finance. I prayed over the cards, blessed them with my stones, and have placed two cards in each position of a circle spread. So I'm going to go ahead and Ask Spirit for a word of prayer, please, for those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Libra, male or female, because this is general. Word of prayer for the end of the reading. Thank you. All right, so to start off with career and finances, I pulled the first card, and this was Spirit's way of saying that they are providing you with the energies of strength at this time. To do what? To... Be able to let the old memories of love flow back out into the ocean. The old memories of life in general. Because now is Spirit's providing you with the energies of the Strength card to step into a new beginning. So, you know, our memories will always be with us. But at this time, I think Spirit's saying it's time to get busy. All right. So, in your mental aspects position, you are flying high and free. Excited about new ideas and goals contemplating how long it's going to take to get set up in some particular project or idea. You have the waiting game energies from Spirit saying to be patient, okay? This is about planting seeds, knowing that they have rooted, knowing that there is growth starting, and as you take closer steps towards this beautiful gift, blessing, whatever this is that you are manifesting, you will uh, eventually get there so stay positive fly high know that uh you're just in the energies of the waiting game right now okay so in your relationship sector we have rock bottom which has not been hit because it's in reverse feeling maybe like you're at rock bottom but that i think is fierce way of saying no you aren't because what it is you're going to apply the strength towards what it is you're starting to plant and begin people are going to give you recognition and reward for they're going to acknowledge it however this applies to you now in your creative aspects position we've got your passion being ignited with the golden palace card that is great prosperity contentment joy fulfillment especially when it comes to finances. So what you are creating and manifesting in February as you let the old go and set new beginnings for yourself, you're going to get excited and uh, fulfilled because people are going to recognize what it is you're manifesting. And with the Golden Palace energies, I believe you're going to be making money from whatever it is you're wanting to create or manifest in February. All right, so... In your actions position, Spirit saying it may be time for some of you to go and get an education or take a course. You have the energies of the intuition card to just stop, wait, listen, observe, take in this information and knowledge, pray to Spirit to have the strength to be able to see the golden pack palace be built right in front of you. Be being surprised because you are not giving up on taking the steps to educate yourself in some way in February. Now, in your emotional aspects position, we have the ghost lands card, meaning everything may feel like it's kind of stuck, but eventually that clock is going to tick. Right now, you have a little bit of time to put passion behind what it is that people have recognized with you. Spirit is saying we are offering you the spiritual strength to be able to sit still for a minute, to wait for the clock to start ticking in this beautiful path, the wheel to start moving forward when it comes to prosperity. Now, subconsciously, someone's going to come into some sort of an awareness here that things are starting to change and shift. I believe this is your awareness and you are starting to understand that you have the ability with the strength card and the energies of the awareness card, like the magician, to manifest more of what prevented you to hit rock bottom in some way, of what brought you great recognition and reward, and of what brought you great fulfillment and a golden palace. In your day-to-day -day practical matters position, you have making a choice in reverse. So some of you just aren't wanting to get up and make that choice and spirits saying it is time. 
When I see the Love Begins card in this deck, it tells me that your love begins with this new project, this new idea, these new goals that you get excited about. Some of you are going to receive some money from a gentleman who is very well off and find yourself with great pro uh, prosperity or better prosperity and finances when it comes to the next week and a half or two. Uh, there is going to be a message or a letter. Maybe that's how it is ar uh, arriving. And then you're going to be able to start putting some sort of plans into action. Uh, there may be a little bit of... What's the word I'm looking for? I feel transformation. I feel like some sort of transformation is going to help for you to begin to achieve in a new beginning, but I do have the snake card energies towards the end here. So I am feeling like somebody is not going to like this transformation. Somebody may not agree with what it is that you want so badly to manifest or that you are taking the time to manifest. Now in your inner strengths position, we've got details, details. You have the energies of the inner strengths to be able to go after what you want with the sacral chakra. Sacral chakra is a strong wanting and details are saying the ability in your inner strengths position to move forward and accomplish Do the research to get the information, to let go of the past, and to move forward and be educated into this new beginning. Because you're feeling led. You're feeling like this is what you were meant to do. So in the first, representing now into the future, know that you have come very far in one particular path and that it's okay to lay down the last wand unless you have some old things you want to finish up on. If it's tied to love, let love fall away or let in a love for something you used to do or people you were connected to fall away so that you can use the strength energy that's coming in. Uh, part of you wants to just get the heck out of a situation that has been stifling and that's why you're kind of flying high waiting for these ideas to come and it's feeling like they're kind of dragging on but that energy is only going to last for like a week and a half or two and then you have um in your relationship sector, this is getting to the bottom of a situation because you applied your strength to whatever it was that fulfilled you. You started a new path and the new path is already going to be showing blessings in the next two to three weeks if you start right now. So two to three weeks from when you watch the video. Now in your creative aspects position, we've got this golden palace, great uh, passion being ignited, and you making decisions. No matter what anybody has to say, you're taking on the energies of the king of swords to speak your truth. To say it like it is. This is what I want to do. This is what brings me prosperity. This is what gives me a little bit of freedom. This is what I've been waiting for. And this is also what I've received recognition and attention about for someone I see a quick brief memory here saying that yeah something somebody's romanticizing the past you have the strength right now to let go of any attention that comes your way because I think you need to stay focused on this beautiful exciting beginning when it comes to finances just in February all right so in your actions position we've got you going after taking the courses, training, whatever it is that you're being guided to take. And you're going to also be blessed with the Queen of Wands energies. She sets her goals, she reaches her goals, and she continues to set and reach her goals until she accomplishes what she set out to do. And then she sets more. She's very strong. This is a strong energy for you in your actions position to get that training and or education done. In your emotional aspects position, you're feeling stuck, but spirit is offering you spiritual strength. In the meantime, just watch your finances. Make sure you don't spend too much, but also make sure that you aren't clinging too tightly to money because that's not healthy either. Think about what it is you want to do with some sort of money that comes in in February. Now, subconsciously, you know the map is shifting. You're coming into an awareness of something. You are wanting to manifest something and you're going to be able to leave something behind because you have grown beyond it. So let go of the old memories of love. Maybe you really loved something you did or somewhere you were at, but this new recognition, this new idea is much more fulfilling for you at this time in your path. 
So don't be afraid to make that decision. Turn this card around and make a choice. At some point in the next five to six, seven weeks, some of you are going to realize that you are not stuck. You may have at one point thought that you were stuck in a certain way with only a couple choices, but you're going to start to see that all kinds of things are opening up for you in the month of February 2018. Your inner strengths position speaks of details, wanting to get those details and things done out of the way, having faith and hope that everything is going to turn out exactly as you were hoping it would. And that is lined up with this brand new blessing from Spirit with the Ace of Cups, recognition and reward. So stand your ground in the beginning. All you're doing is merely coming up with an idea. All you're doing is maybe just coming up with different suggestions and planting a few seeds to see what will grow. If someone comes in to offer their heart to you, be careful. Stand your ground with them. Make sure you're not discontent and bored because someone can come in quickly and spirit saying they want you to carry positive energy, not negative. So hopefully no one negative is going to come into your space because you guys are really manifesting something. You're looking at your self-worth, your self-esteem, and you're willing to balance a situation to see if it'll work out for a while. And here you are with the power energies in the next couple weeks speaking on your own behalf about what it is you're going to do in your path and you're getting excited by starting to set those goals by taking that training by taking that education putting hard work in knowing that as you pray spirit hears you and they're going to make your wishes come true in what well especially when it comes to a new path in career and finances I just see that someone like you guys get excited about something finally by the end of February, maybe even into the middle of March, and then someone else makes a comment or doesn't like that that's what you chose to do with your life. But that's what a lot of us have to remember. This isn't about anybody else. This is our path. It's what we own. We get to do with the path that we so choose. And no one else is walking our path. So they aren't going to feel that intuition. They're not going to know what they're being drawn to. We need to know who and or what we're being drawn towards because we want to all live with peace joy contentment and great fulfillment right all right so i want to pull a love card oh no i pulled one earlier let me take a look here yes all right i'm going to do a couple things here because i'm only at 12 minutes clean up my cards a little bit here So that could have very well been in career and finance. You know, some of you guys are moving on. Someone can't make you happy. You're deciding that a different department and a better offer has come along and you're willing to leave something behind and go through this transformation. You may start working with someone you don't like. Make sure you go and you meet the staff and you spend some time getting to know the location before you make a decision if this is a new path in career and finances. But I do see an offer coming in. Uh, for some of you, it might be best to stay exactly where you're at. All right, so what do I want to do next? I wanted to, oh, ask for spiritual guidance. Oh, no, first I wanted to do the Universal Love Oracle Deck by Tony Carmine Salerno. Nope, that's not the one either. I set a card aside from the Journey of Love, Alana Fairchild deck. And the word I pulled for you guys earlier was ethereal, ethereal touch. Number 27. And I'm reading from the book to give respect to the author. Spirit is present in your very touch at this time and you are having an impact on the world around you, particularly your close relationships in ways that are far more profound than may be immediately obvious. The oracle, this oracle card 
guides you to accept and embrace your healing abilities and to trust that you can feel your way through life by opening your hands to receive and to take hold of the opportunities that are presented to you. You are meant to touch the world with your spark. In a world with no coincidences and no mistakes, you were heaven sent. I thank God for the opportunity to know you, to experience your kindness, your generosity, and most of all, our love. How long I have waited to open my heart, to bear my soul, to let my power comfort and my arms hold, to let my wisdom counsel and my love awaken. Well, this is only the beginning. When I look in your eyes, I know. So I feel like there's a very supportive energy at one point. And as you move forward, you're going to move into the energies of this snake. And I just want to clarify a little bit more about the snake, please. The snake represents seduction and deception. The snake, please, for Libras with the coffin card, bringing something to an end, going through a transformation because they're receiving a letter. Maybe the letter was the offer of these finances for Libra from a gentleman who is well off. The card on the bottom of the deck speaks of playfulness and or a child. So maybe the money can help this child. Okay, I see changes going on at home. And the moon card on the bottom of the deck represents exciting new goals. So the snake, please. What's happening at home is going to give you a lot of power. It is a karmic blessing. I think the snake is representing some sort of fear about this new beginning. We have the fox and the tower, and the tower represents good finances, money. But we have some sort of, okay, it could mean clever. Someone at home is being clever and they are finding their way to this big business income type situation by being very clever and doing their research at home. This Libra is going to be celebrating at a party some sort of contract. This could be a contract with a business partner, another person, a, a business in general, some sort of paperwork, and could also be that they're going to get engaged by maybe the 25th of February. And then we see travel and love. Some of you are receiving really good news. You're going to have a lot of good luck. There's going to be celebrations and you will no longer be feeling bound to a situation with a writer, someone who comes in and gives messages, who causes anxiety. A path is going to end because you guys are going to get right clear to the point about what it is you've been worried about and you're gonna find success long-term. But it's gonna involve some sort of change, changes, maybe those changes at home that I talked about. So you guys have a lot to be excited about when it comes to your finances. When it comes to love, I think that's where, pardon me. Okay, we're good. I think that is either, well, the snake is fear about a new opportunity, idea, or goal and, and or it's at the end of the month, uh, someone's going to come in that is not trustworthy and you've grown so you'll be able to see this person from a distance. The word of prayer we pulled is quiet. I go into peaceful silence and I listen. So again, this is changes at home. Look at right behind that. Spirit wants you to kind of get quiet. Think about the changes. Think about the goals you want to set as you are connecting not only with your children, but as a family. 
because right behind that we have marriage and spirits wanting to remind someone with the gratitude cards. As I notice and appreciate my blessings, I open my door or the door to more of God's gifts. So don't forget to be thankful for the things that you have as you move forward. Spiritual advice. So Spirit wants me to read some spiritual advice for the last couple minutes here from the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron reed and we'll clarify if need be. Spiritual advice, please, for those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Libra when it comes to home, money, ideas, messages, connections, discussions, changes. Thank you. The card representing your, you guys right now in your current life path here on Earth in February 2018. You guys, some of you, not all of you, whoever's energies I'm pulling are being represented by the trapped card. We are never trapped. We can always take our mind, our body, our soul and move it in whatever direction we so choose. We have that freedom here on Earth. So free yourself from whatever has been making you even think that you are trapped because we are not. In your thoughts position, some of you has lust or desire to manifest and create something new in your path as you move ahead. Good. Apply any strong energies or passionate feelings towards artwork, towards whatever it is you enjoy doing, towards helping others at this time in February. In your relationship sector, we have belonging. Where is it that I truly belong? Am I where I truly belong? Why do I feel trapped? Why don't I just turn any of these exciting, lustful memories or ideas into a way to create something at home? Well, because you guys have the moon card, so there's a little bit of fear blocking your way, and I think it's in, all in your mind, okay? So with the moon card energies in your creative aspects position, spirit saying that the moon re represents hope, and without hope, you would not be able to see the path ahead of you. So take a little step at a time. Do a little research in February. In your actions position, spirit saying that the choices angel is showing up and is asking you to choose the white wing or the black wing. Are you going to make a good choice or a bad choice? when it comes to your actions in February. In your emotional aspects position, we have someone seeing the path ahead of you differently than you do, and that's okay. Everybody has their own viewpoint and perspective, and we're all welcome to have that, right? But when it comes to your own path, you get to decide what that path is gonna be like. Subconsciously, you guys know that you have the warrior energies around you and within you to conquer anything or anyone that stands in your path, especially when you're feeling trapped. You are ready to go and to belong in a new direction in your life path. So in your practical day-to-day -day matters position here, you feel like you are standing at the very end of your path. You're, in, you're at the end, you've run out, and now it's time to step into a new beginning and to take a risk. So remember, you're not trapped. We can always take a risk. We can always start a new idea, a new path, a new direction. We just need to figure out what it is that fulfills us. Now in your inner strengths position, you've got a vision. Right now you have the ability to decide a vision. How you're gonna free yourself to take the steps that are required to manifest this vision. The choices angel is gonna be there to help you to make the right choice. In the first week and a half to two weeks, you guys are going to receive some sort of message in spirit saying that they are going to give you the energies of the strength card when it comes to maybe lust. They're trying to remind you of something that transpired in the past and they're telling you not to forget. Now is the time to learn and to move forward when it comes to an education, some sort of training. In the next two to three weeks, know that whatever you summon into your path is your choice and what happens with that choice is your it's tied to that connection. In other words, whatever has transpired in your path, in your past, 
happened because we summoned it in, right? We did it consciously, subconsciously, or spiritually. We allowed for someone or something to transpire in our path, to come into our path. Now you have, in the next couple weeks, a choice, a new decision of what, who, how you're going to move forward. Spirit is sending you the High Priestess of Earth. Awesome. So she's being sent to help guide you when it comes to finances. At some point, you guys are going to step into that per, that moon area, and you're the, and spirit's going to shine their light of understanding upon you. You're going to finally see what needs to be done. You're going to stand up for yourself. You're going to be loyal to others, but most importantly, you're going to remain loyal to a path that you choose for yourself. And that's going to help for you to bring a conclusion to a previous situation. Something that maybe you didn't want to leave behind. And what is it bringing you? Spirit's guidance is saying it's going to bring to you a lot of confidence. So in the next four to six weeks, focus on love. How you can share what you're doing to give love to others. Meditate on how far you want a opportunity project or idea to go. And remember to reinstate those boundaries somehow you ended up with a blindfold on swinging in the dark make sure you speak your truth you know what you want and where you're going look at that on the bottom of the deck this is the wisdom of the house of night deck you have success and spirit saying congratulations so you guys are going to push past a difficult test and succeed whoever's energies these are again if you want me to pull your personal energies i will be available at my email address, josiek42 at gmail.com. And the information is listed in the box below. So just about ready to close up here. Spirit saying, be patient at this time. You are not trapped. You just need to heal from everything that's transpired in your path and think about new directions, new ideas, new goals. When it comes to lust, when it comes to wanting something very badly, some of you may want to connect with someone who has fire in their chart, Sag, Aries, or Leo. Some of you are just taking on these lustful, exciting energies and are being like the Queen of Wands who sets her goals and reaches her goals and continues to set and reach goals until she achieves what she set out to do in the first place. Not only that, she starts to set more. So in the relationship sector, we have where is it that I belong? Who with what company, however it applies, with the Emperor's energies, this is a major arcana, Spirit is going to help you to manifest something at the location by which you find you belong. Okay, and you're going to figure that out after the first week or so with the Temperance energies. So in your Creative Aspects position, there is a brand new path, brand new blessing, brand new gift. Because you chose to push past your fear and walk in the direction of this new path. You found love. You found money. You found fulfillment. You found joy. You made the right decision, even though it was difficult in your aspect's position. With the uh, Ace of Swords, Spirit saying, it's always hard to start a new path because of your fears. But a new path should always be exciting because you get to create how it is born, how it grows, what it transpires into. At the same time, it is a double-edged sword, so it does involve cutting away from things, people, circumstances, situations, environments, and ways of thinking that we did in the past. This Ace of Swords is going to help to release you from your current energies of feeling trapped. In your emotional aspects position, we have people with different viewpoints, and heck, you don't matter as long as there's equal take, as long as everybody gets along and give, you know, uh, you're going to be receiving money. Now, it may be that you connect with someone who's a little bit different than you, but they offer you this idea of how you can creatively manifest this new path in love. Uh, 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 blessings, I'm sorry. This is like overflowing blessings. It's a new path of wanting to achieve something. Subconsciously, some of you are waiting on a maybe male, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, but I'm feeling male. They're giving you the strength subconsciously you know you have the warrior energies because of the help that you're receiving from maybe a male Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. In your practical day-to-day -day matters position, it's about letting what needs to fall away fall away. It was a part of your path, but now you've got something wonderful and new directly behind you that Spirit's trying to bring in. Therefore, they're telling you to take a risk in this new direction, to set these new goals. You have the inner strengths to create a new vision for yourself. But that vision definitely involves 
an ending, a transformation. And you get to choose. Do I step into this new blessed path from the heavens in the form of the Ace of Swords? They're going to help you make the right choices. They're going to bring you the information you need. And eventually you will conquer what it is you're setting out to do. Yep, that's all I have for messages. If some of you are trying to connect with a fire sign, Sag, Aries, or Leo, and you feel trapped, there's something that needs to change, and you have the energies to do so in February. There is a new path available. It could be in love. It could be in finances. But it's going to definitely be up to you guys to take the action steps to move in the direction of a new vision where even though, no, where I feel money is going to be offered. Money, yes. It's going to be something different than you hadn't done before, but you're going to receive acknowledgement and you're going to want to take that risk and that risk is going to change things in your life. But change is what life is all about. All right, so that's all I got for you, Libras. Thank you again for stopping by my channel. If you'd like a personal reading, I'm at josiek42 at gmail.com. Take care and God bless.